Hi, Kansas. Hi, Hi Tom, Kansas. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing great. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on again. Of course. You know, everybody's talking about smart homes these days, yep. which sounds pretty complicated and expensive. How can regular homeowners get the benefits of this trend? Well, it definitely is not expensive. I mean, look at standby generators, for example. They're, they've been around for many years now, but they were expensive. Well, not anymore. You know, just for those that are not familiar with standby generators, basically the way they work is they repower your entire house when the street power goes out. They can be permanently installed. So it's not like a portable where you have to drag it out of the garage and fill it up with gasoline. It basically is permanently installed. It sits outside your house. And when the utility power goes off, the standby generator comes on and repowers the house. Now they run on natural gas, they run on propane, so it's the same fuel that heats your home and again it's entirely automatic. You don't even have to be home. Now this is from Kohler and this product is, their, is part of a new line of 8 kilowatt generators. They're actually available at 8, 10, and 12. They're a smaller footprint generator, so a smaller outside shape, which makes them perfect for small homes, for houses that have small lots, or for folks that have limited electrical needs or want basically the same uh, convenience and efficiency and reliability of a standby generator but at a great entry price point. So the way this works is this would be installed to strategic circuits. So I'm talking about your heating system, your security system, perhaps your sump pump, your refrigerator. And then again when the power goes off the automatic transfer switch kicks on and repowers those parts of your house. Now it's also available with what's called OnQ which is a remote monitoring uh, app for your phone that basically will tell you the status of the generator so you'll know if it comes on even if you're not home. Now another smart home technology is available in garage door openers. Uh, well, I shouldn't say openers, it's really a tool that helps you open the garage door if you're not home. And it's especially important if you've ever left home for work and wondered if you kept the door open or closed in your garage. This is called MyQ Garage and it's from Chamberlain. And what it does is connects garage doors to your smartphone and enables you to operate them anywhere, anytime. It's very easy to install. There's no wiring required. You simply mount the MyQ Wi-Fi hub next to your existing garage door opener. You put a sensor on the door. You create an account uh, at the MyQ website. You download the app, and it will tell you the status of your door. And it also is going to alert you if you forgot to close your door. Wherever you are, it will send you a text alert and say, hey, your door is open. So you can log on again and close that door remotely without ever having to come home. So it's not expensive to be smart in your home. There's a lot of technology that helps you do just that. And how can we lower costly electric bills without spending a ton of money in the process? Oh, that's a great question. And I think a great place to start, and an easy and expensive place to start, is simply to replace any uh, uh, incandescent bulbs that you have in your house with LED bulbs. Now, LED bulbs, you might say, well, they're really expensive, right? Well, not anymore. In fact, Cree is out with a 60 and a 40 watt LED bulb. That's a replacement bulb that's under $10 at the Home Depot. And what I love about this bulb is it looks like a traditional incandescent bulb. So it gives you that same warm natural light, but it uses up to 85% less energy. And it also has a traditional bulb shape, so it's going to work in open lighting fixtures like floor lamps or reading lamps or bedroom lighting where you have the shade that snaps on from the top. You can't do that with the squiggly bulbs, but you can do it with this new Cree LED bulb at the Home Depot under $10, and it lasts over 20 years. And even fertilizer is high tech these days. What are the most important things to do right now for the lawn and the garden? Yeah, that's a great point because fertilizing is really important to do in the fall because now's the time of year when you really need to fuel your lawn for the season ahead. Uh, and if you do that, you'll encourage deep root growth, which will help take it right through to next summer's blistering heat. Vigoro is a great brand to start with. Vigoro has been around since 1924. It's really a total lawn and garden care solution. It's available exclusively at the Home Depot. And the new technology in Vigoro is called Assurance Technology. It's in select lawn fertilizers. Their particles are smaller, they're lighter, they're irregular in shape. They basically give you a more even distribution across the lawn. In fact, they give you an even feeding, even greening, no burn guarantee with these products. And that same technology is in the Vigoro Weed and Feed product. It gives you twice as many particles per weed. It's going to stick to the weeds better. It's going to improve the coverage and basically deliver better, deliver better weed control. And do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share with us? Well, fall's a great time to take on that curb appeal as well. So get outside and add some of those Vigoro plants and you'll be good to go. In fact, if you want more tips and advice on how to take care of your home for, for fall, if you'd like to re read the product reviews about some of the things we talked about today, just go to our website at moneypit.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you as always, Tom. I appreciate it. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Candace. Thank you. Bye-bye.